Well, a term you may have heard of recently is MLP, Master Limited Partnerships. What is that and how do they work? My guest today is Elliot Gu to talk about that. So Elliot, first of all, we should d d define what an MLP is. Sure, MLP stands for Master Limited Partnership. Um, and basically uh, what it is, is uh, it's a publicly traded partnership. It's not a corporation. Most stocks are corporations uh, and therefore they pay corporate tax. A Master Limited Partnership is what we call a pass-through entity. Uh, meaning that uh, the profits that are earned by the partnership are not taxed at the corporate level. Um, they're not taxed at the company level. Instead, they're passed through to the shareholders, which in the MLP world are known as unit holders. Um, and then each individual unit holder will pay a tax on their portion of the profits of the, of the overall firm. So the advantage of that, of course, is that you avoid the corporate tax rate in the U.S., which is the second highest among developed countries in the world. Um, and instead, all that cash just flows directly through to the individual unit holders which also tends to mean that they pay very high yields. And typically those types of companies are oil drillers and exploration companies. Why is that? Yeah, the, the most common MLP in the U.S. are midstream energy companies. Um, and the main reason for that is actually legislation. Um, the, the, uh, the part of the tax code, the part of the law that defines what an MLP can be, uh, defines certain qualified income sources, which tend to relate to natural gas or oil or other natural resource extraction and uh, transport and storage. Uh, so the majority of MLPs are actually involved in the midstream part of the energy business. Some are involved in actually drilling, extracting oil and natural gas, and that's becoming more common. Uh, majority there are still involved in midstream, which is owning things like pipelines, natural gas storage facilities, gas processing plants, as well as tankers, uh, export facilities, that sort, of, uh, that sort of asset. Beauty of that asset is that typically they're heavily fee-based. In other words, um, the fees they charge are not based on the value of the oil or gas that's being stored, but simply a minimum fee just for having access to the storage, coupled with another fee based on the volume of oil or gas moving through the pipeline or the storage facility. So it's a very stable business, generates a lot of free cash flow, which then gets passed through to the individual unit holders. What can I expect in terms of return on any of this? I know it's a broad question depending sure. on, well, on the MLP, but what, what are some broad expectations? So the average MLP across the board right now yields about five and a half to 6%. Um, so that's just your straight yield. Um, and some yield as low as uh, you know 3 or 4%, and there's some out there which are yielding north of 10%. Uh, so that's the yield side of the equation. The, uh, the capital gain side of the equation historically has been driven by their ability to increase distributions. So an MLP that's increasing distributions quickly, 10% or so a year, is probably going to see pretty, pretty good growth in the share price. I mean, typically you'll see capital gains like that. Um, Traditionally, looking for something around, if you got a 6% yield, 6% um, dividend growth or distribution growth, you're looking at about a 12%, 13% combined annualized return in a decent year. Uh, obviously, years like 2008, um, you know, where everything got hit, um, it wasn't that, uh, it, it's not always smooth, but in a typical year, you're looking for something around a 5 to 6% yield, maybe 5 to 6% distribution growth. All right, and how liquid are these investments? If I put my money in, how easy is it to get out? Um, majority of them are extremely liquid. It used to be very different. Um, you know, 10 years ago, there were only a couple that you know, traded pretty actively. Now, you know, 50 or 60 larger MLPs are very liquid. Some of them, like Enterprise Products Partners, Symbol EPD trades, um, you know, millions of shares a day. Um, so it's very easy to get in and out, very tight spreads. Um, some of the newer IPOs, recently listed ones, which can actually be very interesting, will only trade, you know, uh, in the tens of thousands of shares a day. But still, not bad liquidity, um, and uh, it's not like it used to be, where it was really hard to get in and out. And I know there's a lot of online databases where I can research mutual funds. Is there something similar where I can research MLPs and take a look at what's out there? Uh, well, typically they're traded on the most of them are traded on the NYSE, so you should be able to find a lot of information on them, just like any other stock. Um, you know, they host analyst conference calls, that sort of thing. Um, there are a few sites out there that uh, are specifically dedicated to MLPs. Um, but, uh, you know, really, you can look, at, look up information on them just like any other stock. You can get quotes on pretty much any website or your brokerage website as well. Elliot, thanks for your time. Thanks for having me. You're watching the Money Show .com video network.